Hey everyone! Today I have 10 plus realistic autumn building hacks in Bloxburg, so let's just get right into it! The first hack is a ghost tree. To make this, just place down a tree and then add these hanging ghosts around the tree. It's so easy and cheap, but super adorable. The second hack is a pumpkin drink. To make this, make a coffee or a pumpkin spice latte, then put the drink on a plate. Lastly, add these tiny pumpkins around the drink in a circle. It makes a super custom drink for autumn. The third hack is a cozy seat and library. Place this swinging chair down to start. Then, place a transparent basic cube the same height as the chair. Then, place pillows and blankets on the cube. Now you can move the cube under the chair so the pillows look like they're on the chair. Lastly, add some bookshelves and benches around the chair however you would like to. This is a super cozy chair with a library, which is perfect for fall, but you can use it at any time of the year too. The next hack is a custom entryway. Place a rustic bench against a wall and then add these cute little storage drawers under it. Then add a basic cube and make it a bit shorter than it already is. Add this clothing rack on top of it. Move the basic cube so the clothing rack is close to the wall on one side of the bench, then copy this over to the other side. Now, you can add a rustic cabinet with an opening against the walls where the clothing racks are. Lastly, add a mirror and some coat hangers above the bench in the middle. This makes a super realistic and custom closet. I decorated it for autumn, but you can use this at any time of the year. The next hack is a mini pumpkin patch. Place a row of tall pumpkins down or two rows, and then do the same with a row or two of normal pumpkins. Behind the pumpkins, feel free to add a couple of these autumn trees. You can also add some hay bales as well for some seats. Feel free to add more decorations or to add more pumpkins. This pumpkin patch is small but really affordable and custom. It is a perfect addition to your yard or for role plays. This hack is a ghost canopy bed. To make this, place a single bed down and decorate it however you would like. Then add a single bed canopy over the bed. Lastly, just add a few hanging ghosts around the canopy. This custom bed design is perfect for kids and teens bedrooms or if you just like how it looks. The next hack is a cozy fall bed. To make this, place down a double bed. I'm using the simplest one. Then, resize a basic cube to be the headboard for the bed and put it behind the bed. Then, use small structural beams to make this simple design at the top of the headboard. Now, Place some rectangular pillows in place of the default ones. Use Transform Plus to make these pillows bigger and then to make them stand up. Then add a few more pillows in front or behind these default pillows. Now you can use an oak shelf on the wall behind the bed. You can also add some nightstands to the side of the bed. And lastly, if you want to, you can also add hanging light strings behind the bed. Decorate the tables and the shelves however you please. This bed design is super realistic and cozy. It's perfect for autumn, but you can really use it at any time of the year. This hack is a custom front door. Place down this front door here and then add two clear windows on both sides of it. Resize these windows to be the same height as the door. Now, you can add a clear horizontal window on top of the door and resize it like this. You can also add structurals to add more detail to the windows if you would like to. This door design is simple and custom, perfect for any suburban house. This hack is a custom suburban window. Place down this basic clear window. Then use small structural beams to make a traditional window design like I am doing here. Lastly, 
just add two thin clear windows on either side of the custom window. This window design is super unique and realistic. This hack is autumn leaf lights. All you have to do is place down this autumn leaf garland, then add these string lights on top of the garland. This is a simple and original fall decoration. This hack is a Halloween food and drink stand. Make a 2x3 room with the front open. Now place a transparent basic cube, then place a basic cube on top of this and resize it so it makes a shelf. Copy this cube and use Transform Plus to move it to the top and to make a shelf or a two. Now you can add a door or a doorway to the inside of the stand. Add some food and drinks to sell and a cash register as well. Add a gable roof or another realistic roof to the top. Feel free to decorate the rest of the stand however you want. This makes a really realistic yard decoration, and you can also make money from it. The next two hacks are custom table designs. For the first table, place a long raised planter against a wall, then place a shelf over it and resize it so it covers the top of the planter. You might have to move the planter back so it's going through the wall a bit so the shelf can fully cover it. This table is really custom and realistic. For the last table, place a long raised planter against a wall and resize the shelf to cover the top of it again. This table is a bit more traditional and super custom. The last hack is an open roof room or attic. Start by making a square room of any size. I'm gonna make mine 4x4, four four. place a basic cube in the middle, and make it the same height as the walls. Then place another cube on top of it and make it thin and about the size of half the roof. Use Transform Plus to rotate the cube like this and put it on top of the room. Do the same thing again on the other side. Resize the cube if you need to. Now, move the basic cube to the walls that have open space. Place an inverted wedge and resize it so it takes up half of the empty wall space. Then, do the same thing on the other side. Don't forget to do this again on the other side of the room. This building hack is so realistic and custom, I would highly recommend adding this to your house. Anyway, those are all the building hacks for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.